Hi there guys, welcome to this week's episode of Tech Talk. This week we're covering the importance of doing oil changes as well as why it's good to do oil changes regularly. Uh, this week we'll be changing the oil on a two-stroke machine here, the transmission oil. And uh, on the left hand side here I have my trusty uh, colleague and technician Jean to talk you through the process. Okay, so we're going to change the transmission oil on this 150 TPI. The transmission oil on a two-stroke machine is there to lubricate your bearings, gears and shafts on the transmission as well as your clutch. And the clutch is the part that dirties your transmission oil on these machines. Um, the clutch wear is what will actually wash off, off into your oil. Um, the manual recommends that it's been changed every 10 hours. But it could be more frequent, depends on the amount of clutch use. Uh, so use your own discretion. If you feel that you're slipping and using the clutch more, you are more than welcome to change the oil more regularly. That will keep your clutch fresher. Okay, I'll quickly cover the simple tools you'll need for this task. Uh, to start off with, the 8mm T-bar, just to remove the bash plate on this bike. Uh, this will differ from bike to bike, depends on which bash plate you have on. Then I have a strong arm with a 30mm socket, just to crack the drain bolt loose, to get the transmission oil out, and then I use the small torque wrench and a 13mm socket to re torque that with a new copper washer. Uh, this is the oil we will be using here to change the transmission oil. This is a Motorex uh, 40 top speed, 15W50. This is what the manual recommends we use. And uh, as you can see, as I said, it is a 40 four stroke oil. Uh, so a lot of people do confuse it for a two stroke oil because it's a two stroke machine. However, this is the correct oil because it's going into the transmission, which is very, very similar to a four stroke transmission. This is the correct oil. The two stroke is the one that will go into the two stroke tank on the TP that's been burnt with the fuel. So don't get confused that this is a two-stroke machine, it needs two-stroke oil in the transmission. That's not the case. Um, so yeah, this oil has a rating as of uh, JSO MA2, as you can read there. This is just to show you that it is suitable for a wet clutch because this clutch is running in oil. So if you're looking for any other brand of oil to put in your transmission, if you see that rating on there, you know it can be used with a wet clutch. There is certain oils with friction additives that's not recommended to put into your transmission as it will cause excessive clutch slippage. Okay, it's very important that you ride your two-stroke uh, for a bit before you change the gearbox oil just to get all the gunk loose and get your oil warmed up so it will drain good. Um, unlike a four-stroke, this will not, just, will not warm up sufficiently just off idle. Um, so yeah, make sure you ride it and get the transmission back warm before you drain your oil. Okay, cool. So let's uh, show you the actual task of uh, draining the oil. Obviously start taking off the bash plate. And I use the power bar just to crack this thing loose as it can be a little bit tight sometimes. And I just uh, shift up and hold the gear lever out of my way. Uh, you can see the oil is like a hot, it's like a flowing. Okay, and then this, I think this is a piece. This is something you can inspect upon removal. If you have big chunks of uh, metal shavings on this, you know something is not right. Some uh, gears is, or bearings been collapsing, or gears are chowing or breaking teeth or whatever. This is, however, not too bad at all. Um, this is usual the bit of wear and tear and gunk on there. So this will just be cleaned off and installed with a new copper washer. Okay, so on the older 125s and as well as the 150s now, they actually have a drain plug on both sides of the um, engine casings. Where the bigger bikes does not have that and this does not have a magnet on it. Okay, after cleaning this with some brake cleaner and putting on some new copper washers, we'll install this. The big one with the magnet will go in 20 newton meters of torque and then the small drain plug with the outer magnet will go 15 newton meters of torque.
Okay, filling the oil on this bike, it takes 800 milliliters of oil. Um, just check your service manual that will specify what the capacity is of your transmission oil. On the KTMs from 1 to 5 till 300 two stroke are all taking 800 milliliters of oil. Um, and then to double check yourself after putting your 800 mil in, there is a check bolt on the the 250 and 300 cc models the check bolt is at the back behind the spring however on the 150 and the 125 models the check bolt is hidden right there above the starter motor so yeah you'll just check uh, take that out as soon as you see oil uh, running out of the hole just as it's about to run out of the hole you know your oil level is perfect You can see there's a little bit of oil, it's not running massively quickly, it's just uh, showing up there in the hole, then you know your oil level is correct. It's important to put your protection back on after cleaning all the oil off that's been running off the frame. Okay, if you found this episode helpful, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below for any questions or suggestions. Well that concludes today's episode, we hope you found it useful. And uh, join us again next week where we will cover the importance of doing coolant changing.